Alistair Cook's first Essex century since April 2014 and a Tom Wesley 100 gave Essex a narrow lead despite a late collapse against Gloucestershire on day two at Chelmsford. Essex resumed 223 behind on 39 for one, but Cook and Wesley put on 125 runs in a wicketless morning session. The pair moved past their first 50s of the season before lunch and kept the scoring rate ticking nicely at about three and over without looking too troubled. Essex reached 164 for one at the interval, and both batsmen went on to reach their centuries in the afternoon. First Wesley, and then shortly afterwards Cook, with Essex looking set for a big first innings lead here. But both men fell soon after their milestones to Jack Taylor. Firstly Cook was legged before for 105, before Wesley began pursuing his daddy 100, but he fell too, caught behind for 121. Essex lost 5 for 53 either side of T, Ravi Bapara bowled by Liam Norwell for 14, whilst Dan Lawrence was caught by Hamish Marshall off Jack Shaw for 11. Shaw then trapped Ryan Tenderscarter, LBW for 4, but Rain intervened to halt Gloucestershire's charge, with Essex 25 runs ahead at stumps.